recently said that this project um, was one of the most proudest that you've ever done, that you were just so thrilled to do it. I was wondering if you could expound upon that and why it was, was so special to you. Um, I read the book when I was like a freshman mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know, it's so, uh, it's, it's so, it's so basic, it's so, um, it doesn't really matter how old you are, it's like if you lose, at any point in your life, if you lose the desire to f find new things, if you lose the desire to, as soon as you get comfortable, life becomes incredibly boring. And uh, I think that, that, that at like 14 or 15, I was like, all right, if I don't find people in my own life that, that push me to the extent that they push each other, yeah. that sucks. Like Absolutely. I, yeah. So. And uh, Mary Lou is such a layered character, I feel like, but what did you learn most about yourself playing her? Well, I always thought that, like, when I, I was 17 or maybe a little bit younger, maybe like 16 when I first met Walter, and I would have done craft service for On the Road. I would have done anything. Um, I, I had a really hard time imagining myself playing her because she's the type of person who just lets it completely hang. Yeah, no, I mean, her face is like hitting the floor. I think, um, I think that, that it's, it's not that I don't have that. It's just a little bit more buried and... Um, it's not my go-to demeanor. I want to. I, I gotta have friends like Mary Lou. I think, but yeah. but, in order, but but to like step in her shoes for a minute and feel what that feels like was very liberating. And lastly, this book is one of my favorites, and there's so many amazing quotes and passages. Do you have a favorite? Oh man, no, I'm not committing to that.